In digital electronics, information is reduced to binary numbers. The word binary means there are only two numbers, one and zero. One high or on, and zero low or off. Information is collected through logical gates and is then represented. In this circuit, the LED will only burn if both switches are switched on. The circuit displays the AND logical gate. This truth table represents the AND gate. Press pause at any time in the video to further look at anything. Both switches should be on before the LED burns. AND is written by A times B. Both values should be 1, otherwise we would get 0. The OR gate says that if all switches or one of the switches are switched on, the LED will shine. OR is written as A plus B and is read as A or B. We see that the only time the LED won't shine is when we have two zeros. The NOT gate always represents exactly the opposite of the input. It is also called an inverter because it inverts every signal it receives. NOT A is for example written as stripe A. A 1 will always become a 0 and a 0 will always become a 1. NOT A and B or NAND is given by the following figure. We first AND the current and then we NOT it. That will mean if you get a 1 and a 1 you would get 0. Otherwise, you would always get a 1. The NOR gate is the opposite of the OR gate. It's a combination of OR and NOT gates. NOT A or B is called NOR. This is written as A plus B with a stripe. All combinations will then give 0 except 0 and 0. Logical gates can easily be created with transistors in integrated circuits. They can be switched on and off millions of times. This makes it possible to use logical gates to process information very quickly. A computer's microchip has millions of gates. Binary counters are used in devices such as computers. They count electrical pulses by means of the binary number system, by means of zeros and ones, which are on and off connections. The figures in digital numbers tell us how many of the power 10 numbers we have. Digital 112, for example, tell us that we have 110 to the power 2, which is 100, 110 to the power 1, which is 10, and 2 times 10 to the power 0, which is 2. The digits in a binary number tells us how many times we have a 1 and a 0. The binary number 10 can for example be written as 8 plus 0 plus 2 plus 0. That means we have 1 2 to the power 3, no 2 to the power 2, 1 2 to the power 1, and no 2 to the power 0. Therefore 1010 in binary notation. If you want to get the binary number 11, for example, in binary, it will be written as 1011. The last zero becomes 1 because we add 2 to the power 0, which is 1. If an additional zero is added to the number, it is multiplied by 2. Please go exercise this with different numbers. And you will see that the digital number 22 can be written as 10110. Counting circuit is a circuit that's able to count through a range of binary numbers by means of a clock. The clock pulses are delivered by an integrated circuit timer like the 555 chip. It's delivered by means of a rectangle wave and the circuit timer's frequency of oscillation can be changed through by adjusting the potentiometer in the circuit. The regular pulses are then sent to the binary counter. The counter then goes through a fixed range of conditions and changes with every new pulse of the clock until it's through all the conditions. It then adjusts itself back. The number of scores the counter goes through 
until it's back in its original condition is called its module. The pulses are created through circuits called counter bistable circuits. Continuous pulses come in at the input called the trigger and the output changes from side to side with each new pulse between the two conditions 1 and 0 or on and off. We say that the counter seesaws from one condition to the other. This type of circuit is called a flip-flop circuit and has a valuable memory characteristic. This is because after it has been adjusted it stays in a certain condition. Even if the inputs are changed it will stay the same until the next pulse from the clock arrives. The logical circuit of a binary counter is made by two AND and two NAND gates. The diagram shows the logical circuit which is used as a flip-flop and also its logical symbol. We get two inputs J and K and two outputs Q and not Q. The circuit then has three operating conditions namely adjust, adjust back and no change. If the J and K inputs are low or zero the outputs don't change. If both inputs receives a 1 they cause an output which causes a on off on off condition. The diagram shows a three stage binary counter with a time diagram which shows the reaction on the clock pulses and the accompanying truth table. The counter will then count up to 2 to the power 3 a 1 and the number of counts at the 8th clock pulse repeats. The Q output of each flip-flop is a sensing point and together they deliver a binary number which indicates the number of pulses counted. In the stroombaan for the three stadium synchrome teller wordt a enak ingesluit so that all by Q uitsette van the first two stadiums hoog 1 moet wees voor die derde stadium sê J en K in sette toegelaat word om hoog te word en die stadium te wip soos gesien in uitset C. Digital signals have advantages above those of analog signals. Digital signals can be sent over long distances without being influenced through noise caused by unsought volts in atmospheric conditions such as thunder. In analog signals the noise is also amplified and later you can only hear the noise. Point two. Thirdly, it's easy to convert analog signals to digital signals. An example of an analog signal is when a singer sings through a microphone. That can be converted to digital signals on a CD or DVD. You can even record an image, like on a video camera. Fourthly, Clean digital signals can be created from noisy analog signals because you only need to detect the presence of a pulse. When it's detected, unsought for noise can be removed. Fifthly, the technology used to process digital signals applies to communication just as much as data processing. Finally, equipment to Used digital electronics can easily be created and it can be put on a single microchip.